We're here with Jack Sheffer after the men's 1500 at the OUA Championships, winning in 350-150, one hundredth of a second ahead of uh, Tweedle. Going into the last lap there, it looks like you had a, a bit of a gap open up between you and Jeff. Um, how did you kind of come back and just kind of grind through it? Um, I, when he, he kind of went by me with like 400 to go and um, I was just like, just stay as close as you can and maybe he'll come back to you. Honestly, it felt kind of like the, uh, the, the one, uh, the mile and once a, once a runner when, you know, you, you just kind of, there's a, le a leg that kind of comes out and there's like a split second there where it was like, okay, like, if I really push right now, I can get him. And having all the Western people with kind of 150 to go was also a big help. And just like knowing it would have it would have sucked to have lost by that much or come second by that much, just like a little extra gear there. Did you kind of like realize like you had any sort of hesitation in like the last 50? I know you kind of snuck in on the inside there and he kind of gave you a little bit of a shot. Yeah, when uh, I just talked to my coach and he said had he stayed in lane one, I probably wouldn't have got him. I would have had to work a little harder to go around. So just kind of took advantage of him going into lane two and uh, yeah, that was it, yeah. So you're coming off the 3,000 win uh, yesterday here at uh, the Toronto Track and the Field Center, and you ended up actually leading for a lot of the races. Were you like, at all worried that you're going to be fatigued at all? Kind of. I ran yesterday? the 4x2 last night, okay. uh, so uh, I'm pre I was pretty beat up, to be honest with you. Uh, me and then the other Western guy, Ben Carson, who took the lead there for a bit, we were the only two who ran the 15 4x and, and uh, 3K, so... Uh, it's one of those things where it's like I did it and it can't really change the fact that I did so you just have to can't really make an excuse and you just gotta give her what you have on the race. Did you kind of know that you might have edged him out like kind of at the finish? I know I, your teammates were kind of there just like I, I, I know I leaned and he didn't lean yeah. and I think it that might have been the difference to be honest with you just especially like looking at the video there. <laughs> <laughs> and then having like your teammates here and like all you that, seem pretty damn stoked that you got that was, the double. That was crazy because yesterday like you know, I was like excited, but there was nothing like that. I think just yesterday, I, I, I really thought, like I felt really strong about the 3K, and I knew I had like as good a shot at winning, but just run 402 for the mile a couple weeks ago, and Nick McMack has been having a, a stellar season, and I haven't really run a 15 for like four or five weeks, so, yeah. and then raced all yesterday, so it, it means, a, I think this one means a little bit more, especially just how close it was. Now going ahead to U Sports, are you doing the triple or are you going to stick to the I double? Think, uh, I don't think I'm going to have to run the 4x8, which is yeah. nice. Um, I might be persuaded, uh, but if it, whatever, whatever the team needs, I'll, I'll be ready to do. Right. Yeah. Thanks, man. Perfect. Thank you.